Boy, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We gonna run, we gonna run, we gonna run a union. We gonna run, we gonna run, we gonna run a union. If the boss, if the boss is on the way, we gonna roll it over him. Gonna roll it over him. Gonna roll it we would not have come this far without the cooperation of organized labor. The guiding principle in our wage negotiations has always been our hallmark in the determination of the national daily minimum wage by the National Tripartite Committee and the base pay for public sector workers by the Public Sector Joint Standing Negotiations Committee. The collaboration we have enjoyed at the tripartite level has made it possible to reach agreement in advance of the implementation of the budget. And this has helped to make wage levels more predictable and therefore more manageable. I therefore urge the tripartite to forge ahead in concluding the negotiations for the 2017 budget year. I salute the Ghana Employers Association and particularly Mr. Terry Dakon for the very critical role he has played in facilitating the tripartite process. My brothers and sisters, the three-year extended credit facility straddles an election year. I decided on this deliberately because election year over expenditure has been the bane of our economic stability. I'm happy to note that this year, even though an election year, expenditure targets are still on track. And I intend to stick strictly to the budget and the Appropriations Act as approved by Parliament. And this is why I appeal to CLOSAG members to return to work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, acceding to demands to pay interim premiums will throw the budget completely off track and make nonsense of the sacrifices we have made together over the last year. I wish to assure you that it is government's intention to implement a comprehensive policy on payment of premiums starting from next year, and I've asked the Minister for Employment and Labor Relations to enter into an MOU with CLOSAG to this effect. I wish to reiterate my earlier statement that this is our ultimate IMF program. This is the IMF program to end all IMF programs. <laughs> Working together, we have implemented the bulk of the institutional reforms that are required under this program. The final one being the new Bank of Ghana Amendment Act, which was recently passed by Parliament. The Bank of Ghana Amendment Act seeks to strengthen the autonomy of the central bank to implement monetary policy more effectively by reinforcing the independence of the board and the monetary policy committee and putting clear limits on central bank's financing of government's budget. Ladies and gentlemen, Parliament also last week passed a new public financial management bill that seeks to provide an integrated, comprehensive, and coherent legal framework for the management of public funds. This bill introduces and formalizes a number of significant structural and process improvements in the formulation of fiscal policy, budget, and debt management. It also provides for strong sanctions regime to ensure that the powers and discretion entrusted to public officials in the management of public funds are not abused. It is expected that this bill will promote fiscal discipline and help address persistent weaknesses of unpredictable budget releases, limited commitment, control, chronic, and persistent accumulation of arrears. Dear comrades, Ghana is implementing a new Millennium Compact aimed at injecting fresh resources into our power sector, which has proven to be the Achilles heel in our quest for accelerated economic growth. This compact was based on a detailed constraint analysis carried out by a high-powered team led by Professor Sefa Dede. Based on our agreement under the compact, about $500 million in grants is to be injected into our power sector to improve generational transmission and distribution efficiency over the next five years. 
The bulk of these resources will go to improve the organizational and operational efficiency of the Electricity Company of Ghana. And I wish to assure organized labor once again, as President of the Republic, that there will be no layoffs or retrenchments in ECG as a result of the implementation of this compact. While you elect and choose new leaders to lead your organization, I wish you successful polls and pray and hope that the best will emerge to continue to lead Ghanaian workers. Ladies and gentlemen, as we enter into the political campaign season, we should all be minded to uphold our cherished democratic principles and commit ourselves to further deepening these values for the good of our country. I wish you a successful Congress. Long live the Ghana TUC. Long live the workers of Ghana. Long live Ghana. And may God bless us all. Thank you.